Professor Raghavan, thank you so much for joining through this video call. Please tell us about the genesis of Aragya Setu. First is this app is something which has been developed by an extraordinary team of young engineers. It's a partnership between the government and the private sector. Uh, it's a public-private partnership of the highest quality. This app protects you, uh, it protects others, and it's very, very secure. Remember that we are in a period of lockdown. This has resulted in putting the brakes on the disease. The virus, which requires contact to spread, is unable to spread the way it could when contact was higher. As the lockdown is removed, the virus will start to infect people again at an earlier pace, unless we do two things. Unless we identify who has the virus and take appropriate measures to keep them isolated, protect them and protect others. To do that, we need contact tracing. I need contact tracing on a national scale. Contact tracing means that an infected person should know who all that person has infected by examining their recent contacts. Conversely, those who are in contact with, a some, with someone who later was identified to be infected need to know that they were in contact and take precautionary steps. Arogya Setu does something very, very important here. It allows through Bluetooth and GPS for people to know who they have been close by. When one of them is identified to have become positive, then given the recent experience the contacts may have had, the contacts will all know that they came into contact with this person. They may just well be completely asymptomatic. They may have not have the virus, or they may be infected if they're coming to really close contact, but they can take appropriate precautionary steps. Those precautionary steps are not the same for everyone. Those precautionary steps vary depending on your age, your vulnerability, depending on what kinds of health issues you may have and the cost where you are in. So this advisory is not just a calculator, depending on the context, but it's got an enormously high quality analytics behind it. That's done both on your phone and on your server. And that's very highly protected and secure. No one else can get it. It's, 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 it's uh, batter proof. And that allows you to um, be protected. Now, this is something which on this scale uh, has not been done anywhere. And it's to Indian engineering ingenuity in collaboration with the health system that this has been done. Now it's our challenge to make it effective and to make it effective, have a very large number of people using this. Some people ask, well, this is very good for those who have um, smartphones. What about those who don't have smartphones? Well, components. If a sufficient number of people with smartphones have it in an area, and that's about you know, 70%, then they protect even the others because of this contact tracing linked with testing is efficient. But there will also be a feature phone version which comes in very soon. The combination will be immensely uh, impressive around the whole country. Remember that India has got an enormous reach of feature smartphones put together. And this can be something that allows testing to be done judiciously. Who is the team of this? Who, were, who are the people who worked to make this happen? The amazing thing is that while the idea for such apps have been around, it took great courage for some people to put together, put themselves together and drive this. Uh, there are multiple officials uh, of the government involved. You know, in some ways it is their job. Uh, so, you know, but they've done an incredible job. People at the uh, Niti Aayog, people at the Ministry of IT, uh, then there are, you know, back-end health ministry and other people who help. The National Informatics Center, incredible. Uh, there are young people at the Niti Aayog who took great leadership. They worked with people from industry, two or three industries, brought the best engineers together, all pro bono, and there are others who have been involved, who have you know done been extraordinarily uh, uh, successful 
in getting systems engineering together. Uh, you know, from the private sector, they came in. Our academic institutions, uh, such as IIT Madras, provide enormous leadership into looking at the uh, security and the uh, structure of the app, its vulnerability, can it stand a large number of users? So it's really amazing how much our investment in quality education, science, and technology has paid off in this emergency. How are you considering the data privacy? So the app will ask you, uh, you know, when you log on, on the first screen, you will see uh, the screen menu, and then you will see uh, your your mobile number, your device location, and your Bluetooth address uh, uh, to be turned on. Uh, that will tell you about your proximity to other mobile phones. And then when your mobile number gets registered, the app assigns you a unique device ID. Now that device ID gets recorded in a highly encrypted server. And the access to that is only to the government of India. Now, if you want to know how the app functions, that you go to the next screen, and then that tells you about uh, how, when you come in proximity to other registered devices, the app stores an encrypted signature of this in, uh, interaction on your phone. So that's on your phone. Then in case someone you come into contact with is COVID-19 positive, a little later maybe, then the government of India accesses the contacts made by that person in the last 14 days through the Arogya Setu app. Okay. Then they will assess your risk of infection from this person. And by analyzing the signatures of your interaction with a COVID positive person, they'll be able to notify you regarding the risk of infection along with safety measures. So personal data is accessed only by the government of India, who is responsible for keeping it secure and for proactively administrating necessary medical interventions. How do you plan to make sure that it reaches everyone? And second, what are your plans? This is not an app which you know is just for self-information. This is something really vital to protect you and to protect the entire community. You are protected when the community uses the app, and the community is protected when you use the app. And this is so important, and therefore reaching out and communicating to everyone by every way, by, you know, people forward WhatsApp, all sorts of things. Forward this, that this needs to be done. We've had an enormous number of downloads in the last two days of a few million, but this has to reach, you know, hundreds of millions if this has to really have the impact it can. This is a way by which in a country such as India, very different from all the other countries which have been infected, if we have to succeed, we have to use these kinds of technology combined with testing, combined with humane uh, acts on the ground to ensure that our large population, many of whom live in densely populated area, are effectively distant, uh, distanced and uh, even though they have to socially be there as the lockdown removes, uh, relatively close to each other. Imagine a place like, you know, Dharavi. Imagine crowded cities. To effectively have social distancing, you need multiple social measures, of course. But that needs to be combined with testing and tracking of this kind for it, it to be effective. And I'm sure Aragya Setu is a great instrument in that uh, attempt. The features uh, phone edition will also be coming out. Do you have any timeline? Well, you know, I'm really impressed at the speed by which this was done. And I don't think the speed will be wanting. <clears throat> That needs to again be coordinated with multiple telecom operators and to get that done. The government and various ministries have to work together. They're doing that. So I, I would expect that to happen soon. I think what is important to keep in mind, the incredible shared sense of common purpose, which brings this team together, this young team together <clears throat> to do this is uh, really, really uh, inspiring.